We are live. We're live. Episode four. Hey, everybody. Up her. Super so excited. We, we are coming live to you today. We have been doing, uh, we came live, I think it was like a week ago for the introduction of Funnel Upper. Since then, we've published, I think, two more videos on our YouTube channel, kind of yep. showing behind the scenes. And today, we are revealing to Renee our master plan. Yes. <laughs> so this is the, the funnel blueprint where we walk through what we are about to do and um, <laughs> start with a demo, you know, that kind of thing, um, which is funny because I'm literally having demo happen in my kitchen right now. And I was afraid to go live because I was like, it was like, and I was like, oh, this is going to be awesome in the background. It's just, it's going to be, it's going to totally go with the theme of like a mix of building <laughs> and fixing something up. Um, I got the demo actual sound and everything is it just goes along with it um but anyways now now they're just vacuuming so it's not not quite as sexy so, so uh, and renee you're you're in a different backdrop too you're yeah, like yeah who knows where you are i am hosting a mastermind retreat for the women of my mastermind in bend oregon oh my gosh the mountains here we don't have mountains in michigan and it's just the mountains the trees they took me on a little hike yesterday and i wasn't sure if they were trying to get me lost in the woods or <laughs> if they were just trying to show me the area <laughs> That's awesome. Let's drop right. her off in the woods, see what happens. <laughs> so if you are watching live, can you let us know in the comments? I finally got the comments pulled up. Um, if you are live or if you're watching on the replay, um, just so you guys know how this is all working, we are doing lives, but we're also publishing other videos on YouTube and we haven't even like told anybody. <laughs> Kathy, your face is cracking me up. Um, and we walked on in. <laughs> we've got like design tutorials and I did a copy tutorial. And so, um, if you have not checked out our YouTube channel, you go to, what's the link again? Funnelgorgeous.tv. Funnelgorgeous.tv. And that's where all of our um, episodes are being, are being launched. All right. So Renee, are you ready to see all the things that we have planned now that we have like gotten in the weeds of your funnel? I am so excited. Yes. Okay. Awesome. All right. So Kathy, I want you, um, to first show her all the branding stuff because okay. we are doing this in tandem with create the creation of funnel Bohemian. Mm -hmm. And I want you to kind of just like dive into what we're doing for Renee. Okay. Let me figure out how to share my screen. <laughs> <laughs> see how you do this like seamlessly, but I don't. Okay. Everybody can see my screen, correct? Yes, we can yes. see my screen. Cool. So this is Illustrator. If you've never seen Illustrator before, so I'm showing you very raw. Like this is my these are my files. So if it looks a little funky, that's what you're looking at here. So in episode two, I went over and you know made the the funnel of Bohemian from these from the jewel tone colors to Renee's colors. So if you guys haven't seen that episode yet, make sure you check it out. I kind of talk about this and I show you exactly how I switch the colors over. Um, and actually, it's so funny because Renee and I were talking and she said, you know, the jewel tones really wouldn't be bad for my brand either. Um, so I wanted to talk about why specifically we kind of moved it to this, this color palette as well. She actually sent me, she had a scarf that was these exact colors. And I was like, wow, that's amazing. She's like, how do you do this? How do you, you know, read my brain? And I'm like, I don't know. I just do it. Um, but anyways, the, these colors are a little softer. And so I wanted to kind of talk about why I chose the softer colors because you have to think about who you're selling to obviously and what are their current what, what kind of issues are they coming with in order for that you have to overcome in order to kind of bring them into your world so remember Renee is talking about sales to people who are like break out in hives when they think about sales let <laughs> alone you know dive in and actually face them. And so this is a really sticky topic and, and a hard topic for a lot of people They get really nervous about. They clam up. They don't know how to sell. It's a very like anxiety inducing thing. So we chose these colors on purpose. This is like the anti-anxiety. This is almost like a spa day, right? <laughs> Where you're like, it's okay, it's all, it's all good. You're going to be fine. I'm going to take great care of you. I, I mean, I'm, I'm going to go above and beyond to make you feel safe and, and cared for. <clears throat> and the, the other thing about people know that sales are really important, right? So be, even though it feels really anxiety full, it's like, I need to do this. I need to know how I need to up my game. So um, again, this is like why we came with those really um, 
fun and soft colors, very, very warm, very um, inviting, right? Like, please, like, come on in, check it out. It's cool. And so I kind of want to show you guys too. So I showed you guys this in, in episode two, but I want to show you what it looks like um, when we get over to the actual sales page. And so this is not her actual sales page. And so in the next episode, I'm going to show you how you take this, this general structure of what we've created and move it around. So um, Julie's going to show you a little bit about the breakdown of the flow. This is a, the funnel that we're doing for Renee is going to be a hybrid, which is super cool. It's like a mashup of all of different types of funnels. And so you're going to see that I'm going to move some of these sections around. But I think a lot of you guys always have that question about like, how do we move it around when our copy doesn't quite match the design? Yeah. And so here, this is just a good um, overview kind of to showing you this is just straight uh, funnel bohemian with with the colors change but i'm going to move these sections around based on um, the sales page i'm going to get rid of some sections um, i might even add some sections or, or tweak some things around to show you but this is how this is basically how the brand board here kind of um comes to life into the sales funnel so renee what do you think i i, I want to it's, it's i think it's amazing and i'm like what is it? I can only imagine what the old one, the fugly one looks like next to yeah, this so this one. very different. This is like completely, <laughs> this is a total other planet yeah. than the current one, right? But like, I yes. mean, you see what I'm, what I mean about, um, you know, feeling calm and like just that great energy and excitement. Yeah. I mean, this is a really exciting thing. Once they get past the anxiety of it, this is like going to rock their world and they're going to, and I'm sure your people love sales after that. Right. So it becomes after working with me. Yes. Yeah. That's what <laughs> yeah, I'm saying. After, so like, after. so, so <laughs> yeah. what was like their biggest crutch and their biggest fear becomes their superpower. And so I think that these colors really represent that. And I think of course the look and the feel and just the excitement of something new and a new beginning and just unlocking all of these new cool things for them is, is really what we're seeing kind of here in this, in this design. Awesome. awesome. Oh my gosh, I'm excited. All right, so yeah, um, if, All right, if stop you sharing. stop sharing your screen for a second. Um, mm -hmm. So I, I feel like everyone is going to want Bohemian after they watch how you take the, the <laughs> oh, yeah. initial palette and then just like customize it for, for Renee. Um, all right, so we're going to show you the whole plan of what the funnel is going to look like. So I'm going to share my screen now and let's see if I can, how big I can make this, hold on. It's so beautiful, Kathy. It's so <laughs> I know it's, oh it's, it's, it's hard to like, like what is happening? It's unrecognizable. I, yeah, no, but I think, <laughs> I mean, it's, can you imagine too, like when you have your incredible offer inside of this gorgeous funnel, I mean, people are going to be like, just wanting to look at it just for the aesthetics, but then they're accidentally going to get sold. Like, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, like, oh, wow. What, like, what is there to explore? And then there's just, it's so much like the visual delight. And then you're like, wait, no, this actually, I want, oh my gosh, I need to buy this. <laughs> so it's like, it's a killer on both sides. It's awesome. All right. Hold on. I turn all my notifications on off here. All right. So this is the blueprint. This is what we're doing. Um, so what you guys just saw Kathy show is the sales page right here. Um, which is actually a complementary asset to the entire funnel. So the way the funnel is going to work is we're going to focus, um, Kathy's going to take the branding and create a registration page. Renee, you and I have been working on the three steps that we want to focus on on that registration page. So this will be um, an on-demand webinar that happens every five minutes or so. Mm -hmm. um, it'll go to a, a countdown page where um, they can, you know, I, I would love it if you could shoot a little video that's like, hey, I'm Renee, in the next few minutes, you're going to come into this workshop with me, blah, blah, blah. Um, it's also a good opportunity to add like a messenger link. If you use any sort of messenger marketing, mm -hmm. we could put a messenger link in there, um, that kind of thing. That's what, that's what the countdown page really is for. Perfect. Then we go to the watch page. This is where your webinar, so the slide deck that we just started working on together um, is going to be redesigned, re-recorded, and placed in that watch page. Um, and then here, this order form is going to be a night on a 96-hour timer. So for 96 hours, they have a chance to buy uh, the program. Kathy, you're going to go ahead and make a Bohemian-style order form, but also making sure that we have plenty of room for her stack and her values and maybe a couple testimonials um, on that order form uh, itself and then an order confirmation form. And so a lot of people are like, well, then why are you building a sales page? And, I, and I, a lot of people ask that question. And the truth of the matter is that um, 
a sales page works well in four different ways. Number one, you can follow up with emails and send people to a sales page. Yep. People who are never going to watch a webinar, no matter how engaging you are, they're just never going to get there. Right. So that's the first thing. The second thing is if you want to do retargeting ads, you can send people back to a sales page. Uh, the third way you would use it is if you were going to do any sort of messenger marketing or messenger follow-up and people have more questions. And then the fourth way you would use it is anytime you want to do a live launch and you don't want to go through a formal webinar, but you do still want to go live and you need the selling asset without the full webinar, the sales page is going to do that hard, hard lifting for you. Yep. Um, so that's how it's going to, this is the whole funnel, how it's going to look. We're also going to have an expiration page so that after 96 hours, people who didn't get in will go onto the wait list, which means there'll, there'll be some pressure built up so that when you want to do a live launch, you've got people who are ready and waiting in the wings. Um, can, you, can you explain the difference between the expire wait list and the expire thank you page? Mm. it's really just, that's just the page they go to once they've opted in for the wait list. This is basically like a lead magnet. It's like, you missed it, put your name and email in to be notified when the, when the cart opens again for sell like a mother. And then when they opt in, whoops, when they opt in, then it just goes to a thank you page. Does that make sense? Thanks for, thanks for opting in because you missed it, bonehead. <laughs> <laughs> right, exactly. Except that's not how you'd say it once you've taken sell like a mother, because probably you put something awesome on the thank you page and sell them anyway. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> um, so that's kind of the plan. That's what we're going to be working on. And um, I'm just going to pop over here. Hold on a second. I've got like 8,000 screens open. So, um, so Renee, really, so really it is a beginner. It, it is a, it's a mashup of two different funnels. It's, it's the, the, like the SLO regular type of funnel. Like if they were to want to recreate this, they would have to get yes. two funnels because right. it's, but it's the mostly the webinar funnel and you would use all of those pieces. And so basic, yeah, sales basically sales. what you do is you would buy the webinar funnel and then you would buy the SLO. You would use the cornerstone sales page. Right. And you probably also use the squeeze page and modify that into uh, your expire wait list. Okay, cool. That's probably what you would do, yeah. So this is definitely a mashup um, showing how you can do both. So Renee, do you have any questions? This is your first time that you're gonna be running like an evergreen webinar, right? Because you do yep. it always live. Always live. <laughs> always live. <laughs> yeah, it's exciting. So the nice thing is you'll have the sales page asset to use anytime you wanna do, because I know you like those high touch sort of live launches and we still wanted to make it accessible for you to do that, which is why we're adding that extra asset there. Beautiful. Yeah. I okay. love it. It's so good. <laughs> All right. So guys, this is what's going to happen next week. Kathy and I are going to put our heads down and set to design this thing. I forgot. Should I show the, should I show the sales page, uh, the sales copy a little bit? Yeah, a little bit. Yeah. So, so next, um, the next episode, I think it's going to be the next episode is where I am going to start breaking apart. I'm going to take the copy that Julie ha is about to show you. And I'm going to start putting them in sections, but you'll see that I'm going to move them around based on um, like the flow of this. Cause this is the ultimate flow. So what, what you guys are looking at right now, this is the, this is the sales page. Um, so I'm going to take the template and push it into like this or basically, basically put this into the template, but you're going to see me move it around. And so, and so that's what I'm going to take you behind the scenes and showing you how to do that. So many of you guys have asked how to do that. So I'm yeah. super excited to show you literally step-by-step step me doing it for Renee. And Renee, I took most of her sales copy and really just reorganized it. So you can go watch that episode. It was episode three in, in, uh, on YouTube and I rearranged it. But, but Kathy's right. Like the actual design of this copy is not exactly how she's designed it on the Cornerstone sales page. So we're going to show you how if a, if a copywriter gives you copy that doesn't quite fit, how you could add it in. Um, and one of the most important things is making sure you have really, really tight bonuses. So uh, that's what Renee and I have been working on, working on the bonuses. Now that this sales page is done, we're moving over to the webinar, which is what we've started now. Whoops. Hold on. I don't even know how I got this so big. Hold on. Let me move it. And this looks exactly like my old one, black and white. Yes. <laughs> right. No so pictures. We, we like have the book with no pictures. All completely black and white. It's almost, we've got the first half done. 
and then Kathy and her team is going to go design it in the Funnel Bohemian. And so now uh, we're going to work on the stack. And I think I think that's it. And then and then we're going to be ready to rock and roll here at the end of the month, which is super. Yeah. So exciting. the final reveal is the 29th. I believe it's the 29th. I think we opened the cart to Funnel Bohemian on the 28th, and then on the 29th, we're going to show everyone the funnel. Um, yeah, people have been excited. asking, they're like, I'm so excited to see how this turns out. Like, it's going to be such a big deal because I don't even know, you know, like, we don't even know what it's going to look like. I mean, obviously we trust ourselves, <laughs> but, <laughs> but it's like, you never know like how it's going to come together. Um, but I'm super duper excited for that. Well, and one of the things is I, I think we probably failed to mention this in the first episode, but the reason we picked Renee um, to do this with is because you know, we talk a lot about integrity in marketing, ethics in marketing. We talk about high quality marketing, you know, really resisting a lot of what the current internet marketing um, world is like. And Renee teaches that sort of high quality sales conversation. Right. That, um, and so she's actually very, very much in line with our brand, very much in line. A lot of our customers are her customers because a lot of people, they know how to market and they think they know how to sell, but they don't really like it. And so Renee really bridges that gap in terms of being able to teach women um, or guys, anybody who sells to a woman, basically, right. the softer side of sales and, and how right. to do it in a way that feels really authentic and is true and in alignment yeah. with your brand. So that's why we chose her. That's why she, she got, Thank you. she was luckily picked for, uh, yes. <laughs> for this. <laughs> I feel lucky. <laughs> Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Um, so we're probably, we're going to give you guys an opportunity to actually see her webinar in action. And I think you're going to do it even live for everybody on the 30th, right? So that everybody can see it. Um, so yeah, so it'd be really good. All right, guys, if you have not subscribed to us on YouTube, go to funnelgorgeous.tv. Um, the next live episode here on Facebook will be the big reveal, but that doesn't mean that there isn't stuff happening over on YouTube because we keep releasing more episodes. Yes. So. And make sure if you miss any of the other ones to go watch them. They're they're pretty sh they're relatively short, so yeah, just, they're they're easy they're easy to digest, but they're but they're powerful and it kind of shows you through and you can see which which areas you're stuck on and which areas you're having trouble with, and it might just like jog something free and go oh yeah that's duh you just yeah. do it like that that's so much easier than I was trying to do it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, thanks for joining us, and um, let us know in the comments what you're thinking as we go along. We'll talk to you soon. Bye. Guys. Bye. Bye.